In this video, we're going to take a look at the blend material for Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this video, I'm using the Materials 01 C4D scene. So this video picks up where the previous video on the mix material leaves off. So you'll want to watch that movie first and then dive into this one if you haven't already. So the blend material is similar to the mix material, except that it allows you to easily blend three materials together. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate this by going into the Octane section here, and I'm going to create a blend material. Now, the thing about the blend material that you have to understand is it does have inputs, just like the mix material, but the input materials have to be a sub-material instead of an Octane material. So you have to use a sub-material. So if I click on here and drag a sub-material in here, we take a look at the settings, well, it looks a lot like an Octane material. It's just a special type of material that's meant to be worked with the blend material. But you can see it has many of the same settings. The default material type is set to glossy instead of diffuse. But other than that, we have our familiar channels that we've seen in all the other materials. So it's just kind of a way to create something that works with this special blend material. So you can either create it this way by clicking on this button right here, or if I go into the Octane blend material, and I click on add material, it automatically creates a submaterial and connects it to the input for you. So it just depends on how much button clicking you like to do. If you like to do less, then you can use that option. So I'm gonna connect this one into input two and let's create a third one. So I'll go to mat three, add material, and then I got another glossy material. So let's do the same thing we did before. I'm gonna make this first material, which is going to be Mat one. If I click on mat one, I can either click on the material and get its settings this way, or I can go to the blend material, click on mat one, and then expand the settings, and then expand the settings right here. So again, this is a little bit more convenient. Let's make this another bright red material. Let's go to mat two. Expand its settings. We'll make this a bright green material. Then we'll go to mat three, expand its settings, and we'll make this a bright blue material. So it's still looking fairly red. So now what we need to do is control the amount of mixing each material contributes to the overall blend material. So if I click on mat one, I see here is the submaterial settings. If I click on mat two, I have the submaterial settings, but I also have this mix slider. So I can increase this to start adding green to my material. If I put this at 100%, you can see the green kind of completely takes over. Same with material three. If I click on this, I have a mix slider. So I can start to blend these three colors together to get a large assortment of different colors. And of course, you can also use a texture to control these. So let's do something slightly more interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select my big bar machine here and apply this blend material. So now we have a nice big purple bar machine. That's not super interesting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this submaterial and I'm going to use some of these same textures here for the submaterial. So let's do this. I'm going to connect this diffuse to the diffuse input of this surface. I'm going to connect the normal and the roughness. And let's go in here to the submaterial settings under index and increase the index of refraction. So if I go in here and for material one, let's set the, sorry, for material two, let's set the mix to zero. Material three, let's set the mix to zero. And then we have this. Okay, so let's set this material, material type. Go to basic, let's set this to metallic. So you can kind of see where we're going here. And again, let's connect the roughness to the roughness channel diffuse to diffuse and oops and specular and let's connect the normal 
and then the specular map. So there we go. So now we have our metallic material. If I select material two, let's select a blend material, go to material two. This is our metallic material. If I increase the mix, we're going to get more of that metallic material coming in. Let's go in here and under uh, index, let's set the IOR mode to IOR plus color. There we go. Now it's looking a bit more obvious. Nice and metallic on those parts. So now what I'd like to do is instead of using this mix slider, let's go in here and hopefully this is not too confusing. I want to connect that metallic texture to the amount for input two. So now we're getting glossy on these parts and metallic on these parts. Okay, it looks a bit like a rat's nest. Let's do a little bit of cleaning house here. Just to unplug all of these. So we have so many wires. And unplug all of these. And this. And then let's just move this guy, our old mixed material, out of the way. And let's get our blend material like this. Okay, so you can see we have material one, submaterial, submaterial one, submaterial two, a bunch of textures connected, and we also have this metallic texture controlling the amount. All right, so now let's take a look at material three. Let's set its type. Let's go to material three. Let's go to basic, set its type to diffuse. Let's go in here and I want to set the mix slider all the way to 100%. So we get this and let's go into the diffuse channel and make this kind of a dark brown. Okay, so you can see now we have this dark brown material overriding everything else, as you can see here in our render view. So finally, for the amount here, let's bring back the dirt texture. So bring the dirt texture, and I'm going to plug this into amount. And now you can see it's a little bit over the top. So I'm going to click on invert normal here because right now we have the brown parts on the exposed areas and the other two parts of the blend material in the nooks and crannies. I want the opposite. So I'm going to click on invert normal. This is an option in the dirt texture itself. So you can see, let's see, let's try that off. Maybe it's, so I did a little bit of fiddling around with this because I was not getting the result that I wanted. And what uh, is immediately apparent is that the order in which you connect these materials into the blend material uh, matters. Um, so what materials you're laying on top of the other ones will affect how well they are, how the well they come through in the final material. So what I need to do is switch these around a little bit. I have my dull brown diffuse material into input three and my dirt texture controlling the amount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this into input one and just disconnect that dirt texture from amount three and let's put it into amount two instead. And now I'm going to take my glossy material. I'm going to put this into input two and I'll put my metal material into input three and I'm going to put that specular map, connect that to amount three. So now things are starting to look a little bit more like what I like. So I have the diffuse, this brown diffuse dirt at the very base material and now the other two layered on top. So now what I could do is I could take my dirt texture and start to adjust the strength. You know, I can try and invert normal again. Now it looks a little bit better. That's what I want. Increase the details because I just want 
and that dirt in these areas right here. Now this of course is not the most realistic looking surface in the world. My goal in setting these up this way is to explain how the materials work rather than trying to create something that's uh, an award-winning uh, surface. Um, the Octane Cinema 4D community is very robust and there's a lot of great uh, more advanced tutorials out there that I encourage you to check out. But I just want to get through kind of the basics of how to work with the materials um, just to get you started so that you can dive in deeper with some of those more advanced materials. But that's the basic idea of working with mix and blend material in Octane for Cinema 4D.